everyone welcome back to my channel today I'll be showing you how to make the flower from the scrap fabric in my last video I have got so many requests that how I made these uh, flowers so let's get started so for this project I'll be using this uh, fabric this is the leftover fabric from my dress I want this scissor obviously the needle and the thread paper and uh, i don't know what it's called i'll use it for that uh, flower stigma and i also uh, use this uh, dia but you can also uh, use candle or lighter so let's quickly get started so first of all i'll draw these petal shapes on the paper and then i'm gonna cut this we need three uh, size petals first is the larger one the second is the middle one and the third is the smaller one and uh, you can use as much petals you want the bigger you want your flower the more you want the petals and also you can uh, do four or five kind of shapes in these petals so let me cut first these petal shapes Alright, so these are the three shapes of my petals and now I'm gonna put this on my fabric. I'm done with cutting the uh, petal shapes on the paper and I also attach this uh, paper cutting onto my fabric. This is the double fold fabric. If you want you can make more folds and then cut the petal shapes but I prefer to fold just one time and like this I'll cut all my petals. I'm done with cutting the fabrics of these petal shapes. You can see I had cut 10 petals of each size and now I'm gonna burn the raw edges of these petals. So for burning the raw edges of these petals, you need to put these raw edges just close to this flame. You can see I am doing this slowly and very carefully like this so that all the extra threads of this fabric get burnt and uh, you can see after doing this our petal is looking like this. Now you can see it's uh, a bit straight and uh, for the flower you need uh, like this uh, like this petal so for making this round sheet petal just put your fabric this is the right side of your petal so just put this on top of this flame yes like this and now you can see your petal is this round shape you can see here and uh, you need to do this with all these petals
done with uh, making the petals you can see how nicely it came out and now I'm gonna take needle and thread and sew these petals for firstly I'll be taking this small petal the smallest one and I'll put it in my needle like this and uh, I'm gonna sew all these petals in this line only like this just do it in this way After putting all these small petals in the thread just take the last petal and the first petal and uh, place it on top of each other like this and make a stitch to join both these petals make sure it will be from the back side only like this and just knock it and close it so the smaller flower should look like this you see so in the same way I'm gonna make the other two flowers this is the medium one and uh, I'm gonna put the petals like this and uh, sew it first place it on top of each other like this and then just give a stitch like this
I'm done with making all the three flowers. You can see how beautiful it's looking. And now I'm gonna put um, this is small one on top of the middle one like this and then these two on the larger one in this way and uh, I'm gonna put fabric glue here and then first I'll uh, stick it then I'm gonna stitch it if you uh, want you can directly do a stitching stitching my flower will look like this and now I'm gonna put this stigma onto my flower in the middle so just collect them and you need to fold it from the middle like this for more beads and this you can get from any handmade jewelry shop I found it there only and you can get it in silver as well as gold color whatever you prefer just get that and uh, align it properly and then fold it from the middle like this in this way and then put it in between here and then again we are gonna sew it like this from here so our flower will be ready after that my beautiful flower is ready to attach in your dress belt or in your princess hair accessories you can make this with satin as well as organza fabric though it's a bit time consuming but you'll surely love the outcome so do try to enhance the look of your princess dress and share your experience with me in the comment section below thank you for watching and enjoy sewing